Greetings, everybody. Welcome to my channel, Howling Out for Those Elves. Sorry. We're back at it again with some Danganronpa 2. We just did the prologue in the last episode, and so we're actually getting started with the action. Monokuma appeared and told us all this crazy rule books and stuff, and, you know, have to kill each other. So, that's where we are. So, we're going to go right into it. Leave this video a thumbs up if you all enjoy the series, and subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Always happy to have any wolves. And without further ado, let's just get right into it. Oh, as I raised my head from the e-hand book with a heavy sigh, I saw a dark courtyard of the hotel. I sat on the beach, paralyzed with thought. I'm not on the beach, but okay. He, is he really going to make us do this? There was no way I could believe that. This now, in reality. Even so, this is undeniably real. Yeah, the, the mono beast, I believe is what he called it. No matter how much I didn't want to believe it. The moment I experienced and I felt it for myself, it became undeniably real. That would be a very scary sight to see. This is a rea reality that I could not be more different from in my usual daily life. School, studying, exams, job hunting, going for walks, going to school, and riding on trains and lectures. And that's a mouthful. That kind of daily life is no longer mine. Hmm. As I look up, I saw the stars glimmering in the night, covering the sky with like a sheet. They look as if they were about to fall into my hands like fluttering snow. For the first time, I, for the first time since I arrived at this island, instead of the night sky, I've grown accustomed to. I saw those night skies as saw far too beautiful. As I stared blankly into the night sky, I suddenly imagined those words in my mind. The student who murders her classmate will be able to leave the island. Like everyone's judging. Look at that puny little girl! Oh my gosh, she, she can't do this. Unless she's like super smart. She's a little kid. And we were forced to hear those words. We just stood there silently. Nobody said a word, and eventually, everyone scattered and vanished. And it led straight into the night skin. Oh. <laughs> and it led straight into the first night, a night so beautiful and enchantable. And yet my heart was horribly upset. That kind of beauty was definitely far different from my real. Oh my gosh, okay, it's different. We get it. <laughs> Ooh, chapter one. Destination this way. I wonder who's behind this one. Oh, yes. The morning announcement. Or nighttime announcement. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Already? It is now oh, okay. 10 p.m. Okay. Nighttime can be confusing. If you're out at night and accidentally meet a killer, then it sucks to be you. <laughs> but if oh, you're worried gosh. about that and can't sleep, I prepared a cottage on the hotel grounds for each of you. Okay. Every single one of you, please feel free to rest in your own rooms. I mean, the hotel has separate rooms, too. However, right? before you go to bed, I strongly recommend you lock your doors. Thank you, Monica. We will do that. You never know who might be planning to kill you. What if we want to kill somebody? <laughs> Just saying. Bye-bye. And that's ominous. A cottage, huh? Yeah, we try to get... This way. I remember we tried to, I tried to go and see these cottages with my face on it, but it wouldn't let me. I think ours is like right here, right? Ah, uh, it's here. Living arrangements. Not too bad. Not too shabby. We got a TV and everything. Dang it! As soon as I entered the cottage, I collapsed into the bed. And the bed looks a lot comfier than the uh, first game. 
What the hell? As I screamed silently to myself, I buried my head in my arms. I didn't want to see anyone anymore. I just wanted to be alone forever. I have nobody I can trust. Because even if I wanted to trust them, I don't know anything about them yet. The only person I can trust is myself. No, I can't. I even don't believe that. In truth, after I was forced to hear that dumb rule, you can't leave until you kill someone. I realized that the part of me really wants to get off this island. Oh, so yeah, could we actually kill someone and get away with it? Because that would And at this moment, a letter screamed. A scream interrupted my mouth. I said he's a scream. Okay. It rushed from my mouth like water from a collapsed dam. Okay. Why me? Why do I have to go through this? Dude, he is not. He is not okay. I began to lose my voice and I faded entirely after a long. Entirely not long after. That followed with silence. Not complete silence. I heard a faint sound crashing waves in the distance. As if the waves were, were murmuring into my ear. This is no longer the world you knew. And once again, I buried my head in my arms. Why am I here? Why am I doing this? What am I doing here? I forced my eyes shut. I wasn't tired of or anything. But I just wanted to sleep, if only for a short while. I wanted to put an end to all of this. And if, by chance, I managed to wake up the next day, it would be awesome if I were back in my normal life. With these mere expectations, I fell to a light sleep. Morning announcement. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make! Good morning, everyone! Looks like today is gonna be another perfect tropical day! Awesome. I don't want what you're drinking. Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today! Well, alright. Since we don't have a dining hall in the school, I'm guessing we're all going to meet in the, in the, uh, hotel. So it definitely wasn't a dream after all. I was forced to acknowledge it yet again, which put me in a bad mood from the get-go. Guess for now I should go outside. Oh. No, no, no! Now I'll just go out. Monokuma, why are you here? No way! Hey now, don't be so worried. I'm here for some fun reasons. Fun reasons? Hey! Um... I need to find my stuffed animals. Mm. I got ahead of myself and made too, eat too many. Phew! But I thought it'd be a waste just to throw them away, so... I've hid them all over the island. If you please! If you, they're scattered all over various areas, so if you just go right ahead and look for them all. Why do I have to do something like that? Yeah, right. Why? Too bad! But I said so, you can't say no. I've already hidden them all over... Oh, I've already hidden one in this room. And I won't let you out until you find it. Well, good luck! Oh, gosh. Okay, so, um... Dang it, that selfish stuffed animal. I guess we should look... Oh, look at that. Is that, is that it? Huh? Wow. I've been found! Oh, we get coins, too? Well done! Good job! I'll also let some mono coins. I'm so generous. Isn't that wonderful? These coins can be exchanged for travel items in the beach and the rocket punch market. I've also hidden some animals in other places, too, so you do your best to find them. <laughs> find them all. Surprise, surprise. Wh what? So I gotta, I gotta find these stuffed animals, find out who the murderers are, and take care of a... A Tamagotchi pet. Yeah, cool. Never mind, I should just go. I mean, these kind of replace like the coins. You have to like find them. But the pet is completely new. Oh, that's my bathroom. And you can see through it. What the heck? I would not want to have guests. Right, me... Why? <gasps> You actually scared me, sir. Ugh. 
Huh? Huh? It's a sheep. Don't scare me like that. I could say the same for you. Hey. By the way, did you see them? Damn it! Oh man, not good. What the hell are they? Definitely not good. What are you talking about? Uh, the bridge, you know. Remember that bridge that was on Central Island? Did something happen to it? Uh, Shit, why the hell else would I be here? This is bad. But those monsters are in front of the bridges. They're they're blocking them off. Wrong! They're not monsters, they're mono beasts. Uh, oh my god, it's here! <laughs> I don't his scream makes like cuts me off of the mood. It's so, funny. so cool! I the tone I'm trying to put. The modern beasts are the guardians of the Jamboard Islands. Then making sure you guys don't think about ignoring the progression by going to the other islands. Those monsters are gatekeepers. It's better if I don't get close to them. Damn it! Oh, it's so annoying. I can't stand this anymore. Hey, get a grip. Your face is getting weird. Aw, oh, man. I can't. There's no way I can get a grip. They're gonna get eaten. Well, we're gonna get eaten by monsters. There's no way I can enjoy vacationing here now. Hey. Hey. What's with all the noise? Ah! Okay, you need it still. And another monster! <laughs> and I came all the way here to get you both, but if you're gonna call me a monster... Uh, you're here to get us? Well, obviously. I told you. I was told to come get you because we were kept waiting for you to, you know, show up. Everyone is waiting at the hotel restaurant. Hurry up and join us. Yep. Hotel restaurants. We're all gonna start meeting every morning. Everyone is waiting at the restaurant. Damn it! Whatever, man. I don't care. I don't care at all. <gasps> I'm out of here. Hey, hey, wait, where are you going? That's what I try to say, but Kazumichi sprinted like a lightning. Like a lightning, like lightning. <laughs> I guess I'll head over to the restaurant. All right. <laughs> oh, gamer girl. Why are you not there? Huh? I thought everyone was waiting at the restaurant. I mean, she's right downstairs, dude. She's waiting for y'all, of course. Why would she wait upstairs? Yep. I thought I'd get some gaming until everyone else arrived. See? <laughs> We get each other. We get it. I'd be doing the same thing. Mm. But I guess I should get going. Play video games all morning, huh? She truly is the ultimate gamer. It's a lifestyle for sure. Alright. Ooh, that actually looks. Real. Is that lobster for breakfast? <laughs> what is this? You're late, Hajime. And where is Kajimichi? I thought you were two together. Huh? Huh? Where? Well, he pretty much said he was running away, but... But... R running? But where? <laughs> There's nowhere to run to. There's nowhere to run away. What a weirdo. However... However, after that we witnessed yesterday, his behavior is understandable. Yeah, I mean... I would probably be scared on my wits, too. Huh? Now, what do you mean? Did something happen yesterday? Oh, did he completely, like, lost it or something? He just doesn't remember? I don't remember anything happening. And even if I did, it looked pr totally fake anyways. Oh, okay, he's in the Understand. Yep, yep, not worth remembering at all. It'd be a lot easier to deal with all this if I could just deny it outright like that. Hey! So, what do you gather of this here? <laughs> not yet, not until Kaji Mishi arrives. Oh, wait a sec. Does that mean you have a reason to told us to come here? Pointing! Oi! Apparently, Monsieur Biakua has something to tell us. She's so weird, I like it. Really? What? I'm gonna do it! Obviously, we're gonna discuss our strategy of defeating that monster. It's impossible! There's no way we can fight that thing! I mean, it has heavy weapons and everything! Show some spirit! Anything is possible with a fighting spirit! Let me tell you a this. A bold boast, however, let me give you some advice. It was close. They're truly strong not to raise their voices so recklessly. Hey, hey! Hey, let's start talking already. <laughs> this is probably some lame attempt to make us feel better or something. Don't make me repeat Don't myself. Make... Alright, alright. Don't make me repeat myself. When everyone is here, we can start talking. Jeez! Jeez, fine. I'll just bring Kajuichi myself then. 
Everyone wait here. I'll find him and bring him here, even if I have to tie him up. Mm -hmm. Dang! Okay, girl. Go get your man. <laughs> Dang, okay. Her person always really funny. I, I don't like the fact that she's bossy in the very beginning when we first met her. Stating like we're worthless because we're not manly enough kind of thing. I don't know. But that, I think first impressions are not her strong point. I'm a little jealous now. I'm getting tied up by Miss Myra. <laughs> Maybe I should run away too. Just kidding. Get out. <laughs> Disgusting man. That's fine. Now then, let's have breakfast while we wait for everybody. Let's eat. Let's eat. Oh my gosh. I didn't see Nagato there. <laughs> the moment he said that, he started wolfing... Wolf. He started wolfing down the pile of food in front of him. Where did all that food come from anyways? <laughs> when I arrived this morning, it was already here. <laughs> Uh, they even have crab and shrimp. Yeah. Who has crabs and shrimp and lobster and stuff for breakfast? Aww. Crab and shrimp. Crab and shrimp are such a pain to eat. I hate them as much as I hate Mikan's ugly, uttering face. J oh my gosh, girl. <coughs> why, are you, why are you being salty right now? I know we're in the ocean. Salty air and everything, but it doesn't go to your brain. Alright, whatever. My ugly stuff is starting to face. Whoa! That's it. That's the face right there. Oh, why? Why are you being so mean? Why are you being mean? You don't know anything about this girl. Why are you being so mean to her? Did something happen? Do y'all remember something? Like... What's the point of being mean? I don't get it. <laughs> You're just the kind of girl that bullies... That bullies just love to torment, aren't you? Oh, okay, are you a bully? Honestly. You should stop now. Oh! Uh, I got it. To Tara prepare this food, right? <laughs> Unfortunately, it wasn't me. Eh? See, the food I make doesn't taste as shitty as this does. Oh, everyone's throwing salt at each other. My goodness. <laughs> oh, girl. Leave those sounds in your head, okay? Don't. Don't. Don't, don't put those in my ear. Please don't put that in my ear. That's disgusting. I can't stand ASMR, like, sounds when people eat. Oh, can't stand it. I know that's not... That's not real. I mean, the munching noise that she made wasn't really realistic ASMR, but still. This is bad taste. Yummy to me. No, oh, no, 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 no. yummy, right? Compared to my world-class dishes I make, that dish tastes yummy, it would still be considered shit. Nonsense! Oh my gosh. In fact, even comparing them is out of the question. Comparing my dishes is a lowly peasant food. How rude. Hey, don't make so personal. Don't make so personal. I'm just saying, if you guys ate my food, it wouldn't be you wouldn't be able to control yourself. What? What does that mean? Well done. Well, let me just say your jaw wouldn't be the only thing that drops. There's no mistaking it. I knew he was going to go there. Okay. Well, it's not as bad as things he could have said. In fact, your panties would drop too. Like the black thong Miss Pekko is wearing, for example. Oh, get... Just don't say things like that out loud. Unless you want to get smacked in the jaw. Or in the face. Or, like, destroyed. Because... <laughs> you're a little man. Just saying. Compared to all these really tall women. You will, unless he likes to be beat up by women. But... Did you say... Creep? How did you know about... Ladies... Even if they get it right for some unknown reason, don't say so. Don't admit it. Just let them say what they gotta say because they're never gonna stop. Just ignore it and move on. You don't say it. Not everyone's gonna know. Like, everybody is gonna know now. Because you freaking said something. Wow. He 
yours to clear it. However, however, if Teruku is not preparing his food, then who did this? Uh, Could it have been Monokuma? Is it safe to eat food cooked by something like that? Don't worry. That's why I'm tasting it for poison. Make sure it's safe for consumption. No, you're just gonna eat it all. I mean, thank you for that generous offer, but you know, you gotta save some for us. We, we want to get off this island too, and the poison's the only way we can do it, so be it. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? If, if everyone died of like poison or natural causes. You know, I have been wondering that. Okay, off topic. If for some reason we all challenged the Mono Beast, like everybody and everyone died, would they give any satisfaction to the person behind doing it? Would they care? Or would they want this, like, because they, they want it to be aired. They want to see progress in the process. So, would they really kill them all? Or would they be like, let's kill some of them teach them a lesson, but keep some of them alive. I um, Just my thoughts. Hey! Okay, thanks for waiting. I brought him. You are a boy, right? Okay, here she goes. That stupid line, are you a boy, aren't you? Who cares? Girl, boy, whoever. It's, they're afraid. They're scared. Everyone has a right to be scared. <laughs> it's okay. Hey, straighten up a little more. You shouldn't Shouldn't a man like you be embarrassed to walk around like that? Aw, oh, man. Just stop. Don't pull. You're gonna rip my sleeves. <laughs> Even though you look all flashy, you're really a big coward. Careful! Are you gonna be okay? Or are people gonna... People like you are usually the first victim, you know? She got the crazy eyes while she says that. In her head, she was picking them off. She's like, yeah, I'm gonna get the kids outside, this guy, this guy, you know. I just wanna go home already. Crash, clatter, boom. <coughs> what happened? What the? Can you even call that trippy? What is this? Like, I get her tripping. Look at the cords. They're all like strangled on her feet. You know what? How in the world did you end up in such a compromising position after tripping? Exactly, Biakwa. It's like, how? The creator knows what he was doing. Well, it certainly makes me happy. I'm very happy right now. I, yeah. I'm sure you are, oh, I'm so embarrassed. Please help me. Aww. She looks so adorable when she's embarrassed. It's so moe. I'm practically snoring with joy. Is no one going to help this girl? We, we should help her up. Thank you. Someone help her. Instead of all just gathering and staring at her. Are you okay? Like, for real. <laughs> Throbbing a little, but I'm okay. Your head is definitely not okay. Hey, she's beyond being clumsy, girl. That fall of hers was like a magic trick or something. Um, anyways, everyone's here now, right? So let's get going. At least they like, they don't just keep this topic going. Like they actually move on to what they need to do. Since I'm getting sleepy, hmm. right? Though I'm not quite ready to stop eating breakfast. I should begin my talk. So, it finally started. That took way too long. Yeah, I agree. Okay, tell us what you want to tell us. Listen. First, I have a question for you all. That Monokuma thing ordered us to kill each other. So, under these strange circumstances, what do you think we need right now? <laughs> Who the frick knows? Get to the point already. Don't make me repeat myself. If you want me to get to the point, you better hurry up and answer my question. Yeah. Huh? What do we need? We need food, sleep, and obviously, right? No! No. You know Pay what? attention! Which means the answers are a good appetite, a good night's sleep, and a good... Okay. Hmm. He's obsessed with going to the restroom, I swear. That's like all he thinks about. 
Does anyone else have a real answer? Perhaps. Could it be a wand? A wand? I... This is what I believe. As long as the Ultimates work together, there's nothing we can't accomplish. It's obvious. We'll need to be able to create a hope that can overcome any despair. He is way too into this. Like... We just did, like, the beginning of a killing game. He's already talking about hope and despair. Like, he is into it. He's, like, getting all these clues, like, in, like right there, right now. He's very suspicious to me. Because of the... He knows what he's talking about in the killing game that he... Supposedly said in the very beginning, like... They didn't trap us here to kill us, right? You know, the killing game starting again. He knows. He knows about it. For sure. Gross! Wow. He said with that straight... He said that with a straight face? How is he not embarrassed? <laughs> How are you not embarrassed, little midget? Ah. As I figured. That's kind of lame, huh? However. However, he does have a point. That we must... That must be why Monokuma is enforcing the rule that we... That will cause us to be suspicious of each other. I see. I see. That was a pretty good answer. Since it's impossible to face our enemies as individuals, under these circumstances, we must fight as a group. <laughs> However, what we need to achieve as solitary is not something as easily and optimistic as keep on. Huh? Then what? Listen. We need right. What we need right now is the disciplined leadership provided by the unmistakable leader. I see. I see. Even Swartz seems to need captains after all. Rejoice. Rejoice. I accept this position. Of course, Biakula, you would, huh? Hmm. Now then, I'll wrap up with this introduction and let's move on to the main question. Hey! Wait a second! What? What is it? Jeez! What do you s what you just said? Why do- I don't care how you excuse it. You're being too forceful. Deciding to be a leader all on your own? And does that have- And why does it have to be you anyways? Not possible. Who is more fit to lead than other than me? I am the ultimate affluent prodigy of the Tugami household, defined as stand above all. Destined to stand above all. What are you saying? Seriously, I'm telling you that attitude of yours is too forceful. Wait! Maru, please wait. It is true that Byaku may be a little forceful, but given our current situation, I believe a leader's duty under circumstances like this is to be forceful in a certain degree. But... That may be true, but if we just need someone who can lead people, then even Sonya can. No! No, perish the thought. I am merely a figurehead. Hey. Well, they must have the qualities of a leader if he can accept the role under these circumstances. Hmm. If everyone's okay with it, then I'm okay with it too. It's all clear. She doesn't seem okay with it, but okay. Then I guess we've made our decision. Don't worry, as long as I'm later, I won't let anyone become a victim. I will guide you all. That much, I promise. Okay. <laughs> oh, he's so reliable. It's true he's reliable, but he's a little surprised. I didn't think he was the type of guy who would say something like that. As I expected from the ultimate absolute prodigy to look down on us like we're bugs or something. Hm. Now then, let's move on to the topic at hand. For real this time, I have something to show you all. Something to show us. Follow me. Is that Jaguar? Why they make these elephant stomps, I swear. It's at Jevwork Park, at the Central Island. Come follow me. After saying it so bluntly, Byaku returned and left the restaurant, stomping his feet along the way. My gosh, this game is roasting this man. Just as I thought. He sure is forceful. Aww. Jeez, why do you make so made his mistakes choosing him as a leader? Though everyone made some of their com complaints, they were all followed they all followed Byaku out of the restaurant. Oh, so I um, sir? Are you gonna go? Let's go, Jumpy! Magazi! Sandy! Champy! You know what you can you need to say here? You can just say here. Yeah. Well, you're probably just eating, right? <laughs> okay, stop that noise. You don't seem so persuasive when you have that look on your face. I can't help it. When I get hungry, I lose most of my energy. So... I said that. Akane ate the entire pile of food on her plate in one book. 
<laughs> Stop saying the noise, I swear. You eat so fast that don't even taste it. What happened? Are you choking? Damn it. Okay, now I'm eating a little, I'm even more hungrier. Just take a plate and go with it. Like, it's so annoying. Oh, Jeez, Biaki better finish his talk fast, because once he's done, I'm gonna eat as much as I can. Yeah. At least you left. He's over there. I heard him call after Byakuya. He's at Jabber Park, I believe. To fight that thing. What is that? <laughs> My voice cracked. <laughs> <laughs> Reading like this. Man. For skinny people, you're awfully slow. Um. Like someone riding her back, boy. Okay. You can't, you can't judge everyone from being as fast as you are. It seems you were just too fast for us. Ah. Uh, Jeez, I never expected a fat to like him to move so fast. What? So, what's supposed to be here? What? Really? Such ignorance. You don't see that big old like Monokuma ball bomb looking thing on top of there? I wasn't there before. <laughs> if you haven't noticed yet, then I was right to dismiss you all as idiots. Yeah, that thing. Huh? What is that? Twenty-one days, huh? Okay. An obvious out-of-place object placed in the center of the peaceful park. It looks like a clock, but hopefully it seems off. It's counting down. What's going on? Was this here when I came last time? No! No, I'm pretty sure it wasn't. <laughs> I found this. I found it this morning when I was exploring the island once more. It's unknown when it was actually placed here. It appears. What do we must have placed this object? What does the countdown even mean? Aww. I have no clue. <laughs> when again something has appeared, I don't understand. But it's not going. But it's got nothing to do with me because I refuse to believe it's even happening. Yeah, he's gonna die first. People in denial usually. Hold die first. on. Could it be? It better not be a bomb. Are you kidding me? It's a bomb. Not possible. He's so like Franky. If they wanted to blow up the island, they would have done it by now. There's no need to for a countdown. Um. Then what are they counting down? Hmm. It's a mystery. Right? A mystery. A mysterious mystery, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Monomy. What? Why are you here? Um... I heard everyone talking while I was trolling, so I came over. Um... No, not that. Um, Didn't want to kill you? I see! Oh, so that's why you were surprised. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. After all, I can never die. It appears you see, cannot escape. See, must undead abomination risen from the souls of the depths of the ne netherworld by black magic. <laughs> Do you want me to make you my thrall? Hey, hey! Monomi is a mechanical stuffed animal, right? Doesn't that mean she can't die in the first place? <laughs> now that you mention it, she'd only need, like, a spare or something. <laughs> a spare? What do you... What a mean thing to say. <laughs> However, you have arrived at the perfect time. There's something I wanted to ask you. Come on. What is the meaning behind the timer in this countdown? Answer me. <laughs> oh, countdown. <laughs> what is this? Sorry, I don't know anything about this. Hey, you really don't know? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I don't really have a grasp of what Monokuma was up to. Huh? You don't know, even though you're Monokuma's little sister? That's wrong. I'm not my brother's little sister. Did she accept the role or not? Which one is it? Alrighty. Anyways, let's do our best. I'll kick the evil Monokuma off this island. <laughs> If you don't know what the countdown is for, you're useless to us. Get lost. Um, oh. I mean, that's beyond cool for you. <laughs> Who am I kidding? <laughs> Together. I said get lost. Yeah! Sorry! <laughs> Alright. Um, Perhaps you're being a little too harsh. I'm starting to feel sorry for it. <laughs> Miss Sonya, may I call you Miss Sonya? No, I insist on calling you that. I won't be fooled! There's no need to feel sorry for that. Thanks, you obviously worked for Monokuma. Hey, bastard. Who the frick cares about that stuffed animal? More importantly, what the hell is a, with this clock? Hmm. It looks ominous, doesn't it? 
But who puts an object here? How did I get in here in one night? I can't imagine. Hmm. Which means it doesn't make any sense. Also, <laughs> however, that's not... However, that's not all that's unimaginable. The island is full of mysteries and I can't imagine... Begin to imagine. For example, how were the 16, 16 of us brought to this island? Hmm. I wasn't trying to think about that since it's been bugging me too, but he's right. That is a mystery. <laughs> More important, why is Jabberwock Island, which is was known for being a popular resort destination now an uninhabited island. There's no sign of tourists or even citizens on the island. Something is like that is impossible. Even po How is like that this impossible? This too must be the will of causality. All, s All civilization are destined to collapse. Nothing be but begets existence and existence begets nothing. So it collapsed? You are right. Society is much like fruit. Once it matures, it's inevitable that it will eventually rot. As, as the economy grows, the private sector segregates as elders and bureaucrats become more and more powerful. As time passes, this power begins a statue quo and crushes the seed as possible as That is... So that's a sad trend. Hmm. I don't really understand all that, but I feel like the situation is more somewhat different. So! Mm -hmm. Mormons killed everyone on the island. What? And how does that become inhabitable? It's certainly possible. That's a possibility, but we don't know that for sure. Hmm. I'm sure we need some mysteries. <laughs> it's like everything here is just full of mysteries. Hmm. You're right, it's a mystery on top of a mystery. However, since these mysteries are overlapped with one another, I doubt some knowing group is behind this. What are you trying to say? So, in other I mean, words... this situation were in this undeniable work of some ominous organization. Enormous... <laughs> enormous... <laughs> now I can't say it. Enormous organization? Hmm. Monomi, Monokuma, the Monobies, they're all machines that require major technical skill to operate. Are we screwed? Plus, we need a ton of funding. There's no way these things were made just for the hell of it. In other words... That organization might be controlling these machines and monitoring the island with those cameras. Then... Could those fiends be hiding on the island? Not possible. Not likely. They're probably running from somewhere else, somewhere safe. Oh? Where would that be? I don't know. Anyways, there's no mistake that this enormous organization is behind it all. Hmm. I see a big organization, huh? I can't imagine what kind of people could it be. In other words... Well, let's see. There's my Tagami Corporation, so I'm just... No, no, will sell it. Kingdom. And they cause... Kazuru claim. It would definitely have to be an organization as powerful as those groups. If not... Huh? Huh? Hmm. It used to be misunderstood, but... Do what you will. Hey! Hold on, you don't care about you or the Kuzuru clan. But I won't allow you to doubt the Sona. Oh my gosh, he's simping. This dude, my man, is simping for freaking the Sona right now. Okay. Sonya. Hmm. Sonya is a hot blonde princess. There's a sharp distinction between her and you punks. Yes! Yes! Yeah, yeah, just shut up already, loser. Whoa! Loser, you talking about me? Yeah. It's obviously your flash of clothes, you just want to stand out because you're actually a loser. <laughs> it must be hard to make you, you're living in this lame ass loser and just, oh my gosh. Alright, so Biakyo, you are now like up there. She is now the bottom. She's the lowest level. I don't like her. I don't like her one bit. <laughs> she had nothing nice to say this whole time we've been playing. My hair's been. I don't like it. And dude, your jacket has a big old zipper clip. Like that is huge. Anyways. Too far, dude. That's going way too far. Hey Biakio, are you serious about just now? About this being related to your family or some business or such? <laughs> I'm just using them as an example. I'm not saying they're having to do with this. But you're certain that there's we're up against a huge organization, right? However. 
even such an organization exists, why would they make us go through something like this? Anyway... How long were you gonna keep talking about this? <coughs> why don't we talk about something else that we listed? Our enemies work is so unknown. As long as we find out who's behind us, we'll learn about So, in other words... So, we must be now... So, we must do now... So what we must do now is find out who your enemy is. If we do that, we'll be much closer to the breakthrough. Luckily, according to the e-handbag, we're free to explore the island. Listen. There is definitely a, be a clue about our enemy on this island somewhere. Let's start looking. I'm gonna do it! Alright, let's go. I'm done with this crap. <laughs> uh, what are we looking for? Hey. I kinda, were you even listening? We need to find clues that'll tell us who our enemy is. Fine. No problem. No matter how large this organization may be, there will be... Well, they will not be able to stand against us. Go by four dark devas of destruction! There are... Destined to fall and turn to ash at night from the four dark devas of destruction. Wow! Well, your hands just came out of your scarf. <laughs> You're so adorable. What? Adorable, you say? Th Thank, Thank you. Aww. <laughs> Oh, he has a cute side. Oh my my! Oh, you're pretty happy about that, huh? huh? Well, this guy talking to Masona is all casually. I'm definitely gonna beat the crap, beat the crap out of him later. What? He just talked to her. She talked to him. I don't get it. In this tense situation, we all need a lot more. We need to be a lot more cautious. And yet, I'm relieved everyone is such in high spirits. It's strange, but I feel like I can rely on them. This must be what it means to have the confidence of an ultimate. Then what am I? Am I confident enough to call myself one of them? Dang it. I still can't remember what my talent's supposed to have I'm supposed to have. Listen. Anyways, let me just say this. There's no time to think about something as foolish as killing each other. We must do what we have to do. Observe, speculate, recognize, com comprehend, even if it seems impossible what we have to preserve. Here. Yeah. But most importantly, follow my lead. I'll make sure to return a few all to normal lives. This is your this leader's is... order. This is your leader's order, understand? <laughs> That's like totally awesome. <laughs> That's right. That right hand of his is so plump. I've got a perfect nickname for him, Ham Hands. I hope she dies. Ham I'm hands. I'm pretty sure she's gonna die. Ham hands, you say? <laughs> Interesting. I never thought I'd say, see the day where someone called me something like that. Huh. Aren't you getting mad? Naturally. Why would I be mad at something as petty as that? She observed me directly and thought of a nickname. There's nothing dishonest about a name like that. <laughs> Perhaps I've always yearned for this, though it may seem ironic for me to realize that in this particular situation, He's totally vlogging right now. Such silly talk. Don't worry about it. I was talking to myself just now. Uh, I see. I don't really get it, but I guess this guy isn't some overconfident narcissistic jerk after all. I mean, you know, years and trauma changes someone, so... Who knows? Maybe he has changed. I personally like his personality right now, so... Despite our situation, he's mysteriously calm. He might just be a reliable person after. All right. All right then. We should listen to Biaku and not waste our energy thinking about pointless things. It's true that we're not in the best situation, but it's also not the worst. Great. Because we're not alone. We have friends we can count on to support each other. Well, seriously, that sounds so lame. <laughs> I knew it. I was thinking to myself how lame it sounded after I said that. Friends, huh? Until now, I never really thought about friendship. This sort of thing seems embarrassing. I never would have thought about it in this situation. No, actually, it's more like because of the situation. In the end, I we never solved the mystery of the ominous countdown. But with, a but without losing heart, we all went back to the hotel. Believe in our friends, huh? It'd be difficult to believe in them right away, but it'd be nice if I could happen a little at a time. Huh? If I'm starting to think that, doesn't that show that I make good progress? 
All right, what's up? Now then, there's a reason, there's no reason to a whole open my room and stare blankly in the space. Since there's time, I should get an idea to go ahead and talk to everybody. Oh, free time. Ooh, free time. Okay. Let's see, who am I wanting to talk to first? I'm curious about. I am not talking to that little shrimp in a kimono. Let's talk to you. You seem really, um. <laughs> struggling there. This is so weird. It's too much for me. If I'm alone, I'll go crazy. What should I do? Yeah, let's hang out. Uh, uh, you yeah. you know, you, with someone like you. <laughs> Someone like me, I think. Thank you very much. Oh, I spent time sitting next to Makan, who was so moved. She seemed a little lost for words. Aww. It looked like Makan and I grew a little closer. It was like her present. I'm oh, sorry, I don't know what that is. So that's why I decided to hang out. Makan's acting suspicious and hasn't tried to look at me at all. Somehow I feel like I did something bad, even though I didn't do anything. Um. Um, I'm sorry? sorry. What are you sorry for? What is this all of a sudden? Oh. I thought you you clearly looked like you were in a bad mood. I, did, did I do something wrong again? Ah. What should I do? What would make you happy if I took off my clothes? No! No! Please don't do that. You don't need to do that. Well, hold on. Why are you acting like this? Ah. You're right. You don't want to see me naked, right? And then how about my money? Is she like, what happened to you? Seriously, hold on. I'm sorry. What the heck? We were having a nice, you know, sit down and just are freaking out. I feel like if I start panicking, the situation is going to get even worse. All right, I should just calm down first. Hey, Makan. I just wanted to talk to you normally. Oh. Huh? <laughs> Such a beautiful day. Yeah. I'm sorry, should I take off? No! Don't take off your clothes! She's a- why- why is she obsessed with doing that? Was she like in a bad relationship or something? Seriously, you don't have to do something like that. This is troubling. I guess I should talk about something that might get her excited. Okay, what? Favorite type of guy. Bandage type. Pizza? Um, considering she's a nurse, let's do bandage type. How weird as that sounds, she might like it. I'm gonna look what type of bandage do you like most? Bandage? <laughs> let's see, there's a lot of different types of these days. It's extremely convenient because there are waterproof types and sticky types. But I definitely like non-elastic types the best. They're not too constricting, but they're firmly secure the wounds. I'm glad it looks like she's getting into this conversation. <laughs> oh, sorry, I went ahead and started talking on my own. Okay, that's I asked you the question. Don't worry about it. I'm the one to ask anyway. Yeah, exactly. Also, I feel like I got to know you a little more. <laughs> really? Um, let's call it a day for now. How'd you know? Yes? Yes! If it's not too much trouble for you, would you like to talk to you again? It's been a while since anyone talked to me like this, so... Of course, any time. Thank you very much. Aww. See, she seems a friend. Uh, <laughs> what? Oh, I thought she was gonna say something. Something again. Okay. We decided to go our separate ways. Good. Good. Hmm. For some reason, I feel like McCon was start staring back at me for a little too long. So she's not a bad person, but I don't know. I don't really know how to communicate with her that well. <laughs> Fragment. I'm very curious of what happened to her in the past because she might have been bullied. I don't know. That's what that's the vibe I'm kind of getting at. That bullied or in a like a very toxic relationship. Now I decided to return to her. What do they always return to the room? Why can't we just like walk from where we started? Like, yeah. Let's go find somebody else. 
person. There's another person I want to get to know. Let's see. Actually, Biakua. Biakua, I'm gonna talk to you, my dude. Are you really Very not the strange. jerk that I used to know? Why did the organization behind this matter kidnap us? I like to think about it, but I just ain't enough clues. What should I do? Okay. Yes, hang out. Hmm. Very well. I was just staring, starting to get hungry from overthinking. This is your leader's Let's go order. Get something light. Follow me. Light? I'm pretty sure you're not gonna get something light. I spent time with Biakua today, watching him eat an enormous amount of food. Yeah, I mean. Looks like Biakua would get a little closer to him. Would you like to him present? I know him present, I'm sorry. Hey, Hajime. Let me ask you one thing. Huh, me? I don't really mind, but is there something I've been wondering for a while and I like to purge on that question in my mind? Listen. So let me ask you, what is your body fat percentage? Huh? Well, I don't really know. The exact number, but I've had it checked before. What? Never had it checked before. This can't be! Are you saying you have no intention to understand the ratio of fat stored within you? <laughs> this is where. This is why I dislike commoners. For some reason, Biakia's mood seemed abnormal. I'm starting to think he actually done something wrong. I see. However, I just, by looking at you, I say you're a nine, no, maybe an eight. <laughs> Regardless, it's probably a, around one digit. Be grateful this is a tropical island. If you were somewhere else hospitable, you'd freeze to death. Alrighty. Thank you for that knowledge, Biakuma. <laughs> Anyways, you still can't remember what your talent is. Yeah, not yet. Don't worry. I see. However, there's no need for you to be depressed about it. Huh? <laughs> What's with that face? Nothing. I just thought you were going to get yelled at again. How foolish. Do you really think I'd get mad about something like that? Yeah, you got mad at freaking Kyoko for not knowing her her ultimate ability is. So I would I would expect you to be mad at me, so you know don't look at me like that. The person like me has a responsibility to watch over the weaklings. <laughs> Besides, as long as I'm here, it doesn't matter what you're telling me. In the name of as long my as family. Yakuya Tagami is in charge, you will no peace. See, he says something like that versus back when he used to be. I like him. He's actually pretty cool. I mean, he's still blunt, you know, but yeah, I like him. He has more of a character development around him now. His personality is so overwhelming. <laughs> the Togami Corporation is famous worldwide. It will be, it will grow even more rapidly under my command. You should feel lucky that someone as talented as I is here. Listen. Just believe in me. If you do, everything will turn out fine. I don't really understand, but he's extremely confident. So, this is Biaki Tagami, the ultimate pro affluent prodigy. Hmm. To make sure you don't get any in my way, a commoner should know their place and stay put. Okay. Then he says something like that. Cool. Goodbye. However, if there's anything troubling you, I don't mind if you rely on me. Alright, alright. I'm saying that Biaki Tagami. Gallantly strolled away? Wow. This game is really pushing it. He was being pretty condescending, but he doesn't seem like a bad guy. I feel like I got to know him a little bit about the opera. Sweet! Back in my room? I'm always going back in my room. You know? Oh? Oh, nighttime. Nighttime. Huh? It's the bell just now. Could it be? Yeah, it's nighttime. Go. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy Stello, everyone! I wonder what festivities await you! Oops! Don't want to ruin the surprise! It was a little meh at first, but anyway, please gather at Jabberwock Park! Alright, I thought it was nighttime, but I guess not. Alright, let's, um, let's go. He just told us to go to the park? In the middle of the night? What's he up to? I suddenly had a bad feeling about this, and goosebumps sprung all over my body. If we were not allowed to defy Monokuma, then there's no way I can ignore this. Which means there's nothing I can do to listen to him. Damn it. What is it now? We gotta go find out! Like, guarding. Huh? 
That one was already at Jaguar Park when I arrived. <laughs> Once again, you're late. Did you lose your nerve? I'd like to deny that, but he's not exactly wrong. That's either. fine. Anyways, it seems everyone is here. How annoying! Huh? What is it this time? So friggin' annoying. You know, you should have. You shouldn't have come. I mean. I mean, I don't know what will happen to me if I don't come. <laughs> hmm, since none of us knows what will happen, maybe you should be the one to test that out. <laughs> Hey, you may talk like you're tough, wise guy, but you shouldn't be, you wouldn't be here unless you were scared too. Huh? What? Yeah, yeah. I guess even a big bag Akuza like you must have been scared of a monster, huh? Are you? What the frick did you just say? Wait! Stop it, you two. Fighting amongst friends isn't good. Huh? What, did you just say friends? Dumbass! You're, I'm not your friend, dumbass. When, when did I become friends with with you bastards. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. Let me be perfectly clear. I can do it, you know. Huh? Huh? That's me, right? You. Y what did you just say? Hmm. Oh, you didn't hear me? Then I'll repeat myself once for you. I said I can do it. I do what? What are you saying? Don't tell me you're being serious right now. I mean, he's... His profession is killing people. So he can do it, possibly. No doubt about this. What is this? It looks like a stage, but it wasn't here during the day. Hmm. It's fine. Just leave him alone. It's fine. I thought Biaka would all of all people would stop him. You know, he knows people got free free speech. He's not gonna be put in a situation where he's gonna be in the wrong. Talking again? Hey, Fujiko. Why don't you calm down for a bastard? Don't talk to me like we're friends or something. Don't misunderstand. I live in a completely different world from you bastards. Kill or be killed. That's the kind of world I live in. Jeez. The current rules make more sense to me than I play nice and get along crap. What are you saying? If you don't stop it right now, I'm gonna get seriously angry. Are you don't threaten me like don't threaten me like a kid, bitch. Just stop. Stop already. This kind of fighting will not get us anywhere. Shut the hell up! There's no way I'm dealing with this combine crap. <laughs> if any of you guys want to die, step forward. I'll freaking kill you right now. I'm starting to get sounds locked up! Oh my god, sounds like fun! Give me your best shot. What the heck? What's going to happen if you're easily provoked? That's enough. Thank you. Huh? I see. Fujiko. I understand that you, what you're saying. Don't worry. I don't intend to dismiss your feelings. There was... There was a time when I also thought the same as you. Okay. Don't treat me like a fucking kid! Are you treating me like a kid too? Let me say this. But what would recklessness killing accomplish? If you fail to get away with it, you know you'll be executed. No, or process what you really want. If so... Hmm. You'd only be killing yourself to run away from this predicament, and that's what a child would do. Ooh, you, Biakiwa, <laughs> he's spitting facts right now. What? What are you gonna say, little kid? <laughs> what was it? Not little kid, a oh, baby face. That's what he didn't want to be called. What did you say? Listen. Listen. As long as we're here, I will not let any of you die. I will le not let any of you become a victim. And that goes for you too, Fujiko. I wouldn't let you die. Yeah. What the hell? Everything you're saying, it's, it's empty promises. <laughs> it's true my words should ring a hollow to everyone else spoken them. My name is Byakuya Togami. But I am Byakuya Togami. I am destined to bring these promises to... Fruchin. Fru... Fruchin? Fruchin? Fru oh, whatever. <laughs> whatever. He's so cool. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> He's getting a little excited there. Watch out, Biakua. I don't care what you say. I'm just gonna do whatever I feel like. <laughs> do what you will. However, remember what I said earlier. In the name of my family. I will not let any of you become a victim. That is a duty I have appointed to myself. It seems like Biakua has resolved it for now. But even if he's ultimate Yakuza, there's no... There's no way Fujiko could really mean what he said earlier, right? Yeah, he 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 definitely did. Hmm. Okay. 
Thank you, Monica. Let's get the show on the road. This is troubling. It looks like you guys were arguing. So I wasn't sure when to actually show up. It looks like I showed up at an awkward time. Hey, hey. Why are you dressed up like that? Hey! Um, oh, you didn't mention it. There's some broadcast? It's my costume for the fun time. Correct! That's right! Since we're on Trouble Island, I'm here doing the two main comedy routine. Uh, uh, it doesn't matter if we're on Trouble Island. However... But you can do a two main comedy routine by yourself? Of course! Of course not! That's why I brought my partner. Cool! What is this? Meaningless. That figures. Thank you for waiting! Now then, without further ado, please... I'm pleased to present... Monica Massage Bunny Live 2 Man Comedy Show. Hey! Uh, I didn't answer anything about this. What are you telling me I have to improvise? How pitiful. I'm speechless. Alright. Hello! I'm Monokuma! Um. I'm Monami! <laughs> Why they speak in? And together we are the Monokumas! Now! I know it's sudden, but I guess I should show you guys my amazing mind-reading abilities. All right, do it. Uh, you can read minds? As practice, I'll guess your favorite food. Hmm, your favorite food is... You can do it. It's obvious what rabbits like. Kid. That's right. Davers. I'd never eat a dead body! Now then, Monami's up next! Come on, do a short skit or something! What? There's no way I can do that! Is there a point to this? No worries, it's all good! I know a technique to summon the god of comedy! What? So, which do you think is better? Taking blood while you're still alive? Or after you're already dead? Why would you ask such a cruel question? If I'm gonna summon the common deity, then I'll need a lot of blood! So, a god of comedy wants blood. Mmm. Pretty please. That was medicine. No matter how charmingly you ask, there's no way I'll let you take my blood! You're always so quick to make a scary face, Monami. You guys better be careful, too. You know, since Monami's actually a bad guy. Monami's a bad guy? She's as bad as the first villain the hero fights in a teen manga. Uh, Alright. They're always the underdog. Believe me, it's a fact that Monami's a villain. I'll let you all in on a little secret of hers. Alright. Monami went out of her way to erase your memories. What? Say what? Yeah, say what? Wait, huh? You guys don't even remember how you got to this island, am I right? I mean, true. Like, even if she was our teacher, <laughs> I mean, we, we have no resurrection of our past memories or how we even got here. Hmm. And Monokuma didn't show up till later, so he couldn't have done it. Well, that's Monami. because Monami stole your memories! Monami! B what are you Monami. saying all of a sudden? <coughs> are you really a bad guy? But wait! There's more! She didn't just steal your boring memories, like how you guys got to this island. Okay, tell more, tell more. She completely took away your memories of the years you spent at Hope's Peak Academy. What a shocker! Yeah, that's what she did too. Oh, uh... Don't. <sighs> I feel great now that I've shared that with you. Seriously, memory loss plots are so old hat nowadays. He's saying that from experience. He's over here going. <laughs> it's been done. It's all right. Only a total hack would wait until the end of the story to reveal a cliched twist like that. Really? Please stop. You 
guys just thought you were because you've lost all of your school memories. Quick, someone get a plagiarist because I feel like I've heard this story before. This trolling. So, seriously, this is bad in so many ways. I'm through dealing with you. Okay. His backhand is far too powerful. Dude, I don't know what he was hitting me with. Look at him up. So, yeah, everyone's speechless. They're all like, what? What? <laughs> huh? That's. What did he mean? Hey, hey! How was it? Was it funny or was it comedy too high brow for you? Come on. Hey, were you? What were you saying just now? Huh? What was I saying just now? <laughs> oh, you mean about what I said about your school memories being completely stolen? Completely stolen. Our class memories completely. What is he saying? <laughs> There's no way. Because I rem just remember entering both the academy and then we watched this island, right? It's true. Right, because that's how you remember it. All thanks to Moni, stealing your school memories. What are you saying? That's impossible. Who knows? Man, how many years has it been since you guys first entered Oak Creek Academy? I wonder what happened to your friends and family. They're probably very sick about you. Maybe. Impossible! Our school memories were stolen. That's ridiculous. That's right. That's right. There's no way I have lost my, my You mom. can't! Don't listen to what he says. Blah, 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 blah. Limit breach. I won't believe. I won't believe. Yep, everything is okay. I don't believe it. <laughs> You're lying, right? Stealing our memories, that's a lie, right? You're just saying to make us fool fools out of us, right? Wrong! Nope, that's not a lie. If, I, if it was a lie, then how would you explain this? The moment you arrived at the academy, you were experienced a strange dizziness. What? How do you know that? Actually! Why, that was the cutoff point. Your memories beyond that point have been completely removed. What the hell? I could feel myself getting lightheaded. I couldn't think. I couldn't speak. I couldn't... I could only breathe in heavy gasping breath. <laughs> so, a long time has passed since then? Impossible! Impossible! There's no way! Lie! In the courtyard? Why is it impossible? <laughs> That's... Contrary. I'm so sorry, guys. I did not read that right. Whether or not it's possible, there's no way we can believe that. No, no! You just don't want to believe it, right? Yeah. Don't worry, I'm dangerous guy. I can give you back your memories. Huh? Hey! Oh, um, the catch. Could it be? Don't tell me the catch is. <laughs> Figure it out yet? That's right! That's right, you guys have to kill each other. That's the bargaining point. Ooh, uh, hey! You hey. guys want to know, right? You want your school memories to return to you, right? Hey, man! Then you better start killing a penny for your thoughts and a murder, murder for your memories. Piss me off. Hey, stop running your mouth. Why? Why are you so angry? I'm just providing you all with the motives in the bottom of my big, generous heart. Otherwise, you cowards wouldn't get anything killing done. <laughs> well, that's not your fault. Humans are natural born cowards. They even cry after their mom squeezes them out. Special bleeding service! That's why I'm giving you a motive to think about an excuse to commit your future crime. Quiet. Stop this at once. Do you really think your delusional rambling will convince us to commit murder? What are you saying? I didn't even believe that memory lost crap in the first place. <laughs> but even that, what you guys really don't believe is each other, right? What's going on? What do you mean? Hey! Um... You guys don't even know each other. What you mean? Yeah! When you realize that a traitor is hiding amongst you, right? Well, he's already, he's already like, you know what? Let's just get to the chase. Let's just bring everything out on the table. He is really pushing us. Like, he was like, I'd done this before. All my tactics were elongated, and it took too long for people to kill, so I'm just going to give you motive after motive after motive to kill someone. He's wanting anyone and everyone in their power to try to kill somebody right now. <sighs> hey, why are there 16 of you? If a total of 15 students from Hospital Academy, there were arranged to come to this island. I got it! That's right, they're probably a traitor. Don't even know who, about hiding amongst in the group. Just kidding. You. There's no way he's kidding. He wouldn't just say that. What are you saying? All this shit about traitors doesn't make sense. Oh. It's obviously nonsense. Lame! For you, 
For real, you guys, how can you be so so sure? You guys don't even know anything about each other. You don't even know your true nature. <laughs> why? That's why if one of you is planning to kill someone, it's impossible for you to know, for any of you to know. Those words, everyone fell silent. I wanted someone to argue with me, anybody, but nobody said a word. They just stood there. Uh-huh. Even so, if they, if they're really a traitor, isn't that just darn awful? Pretending to be your ally and tricking you guys to make sense of someone like that to get killed, right? <laughs> Come on, make a presumptuous strike. The first first come first serve, and the winner takes all. <laughs> if you want to survive, you gotta you gotta find that person before they find you. <laughs> I like his laugh. It's, it's really good. All right. Even after Monica was posterous laughter faded away, we all just stood there. Every one of us. The situation, the circumstances, the phone. This phenomenon, this disaster, this nightmare, this hell, this despair. It's consuming every one of us. Um, is it true? Is there really a traitor among us? You got it wrong! It's, it's not me, by the way. I don't... I know I may look suspicious, but it's not me. Who is it? Hurry up and show yourself. I'm the only making things worse if I stay in silent. No, was, no one ever in the history has just like, Hey, it's me. I'm the traitor. No, no one does that. That's enough. Just stop. There's no way there's a traitor. There's no way. It's pointless to even discuss something so foolish. Maybe it's Nagato. Maybe he's a traitor because he's he, he knows his stuff. I won't believe. That's right. I, won't I don't be believe it. He's not him. Because there's no way I can believe it. There's no reason in the first place to believe it. Hey, Monami. You would know. Huh? She would know because she was the freaking teacher. She, she ever all 16 students when her classroom when we arrived. Oh. Is that Monica who said is true about the freaking also about the traitor? Um. I mean, everyone needs to look to the future. That's why you shouldn't look back on the past. <gasps> Keep your eyes fixed upon the future. Let's do our best. Huh? She ran. She ran! <laughs> Is no one fast enough to stop this little robotic bunny? Like, for real. Huh? She just ran away. <laughs> oh, how ridiculous. Remember, I lost a traitor. is completely fictional. Dumbass! I mean, he had to understand. Remember, lost for traitors? Yeah. He lives in that kind of a world of traitors and stuff, so he would. He should believe that. I can't deal with this bullshit, dumbass. Who's he talking to? Who, call, who, who did he call a dumbass? I don't understand. As he said, it's a work of fiction. It's entirely different from reality, I know. Stolen memories, all of school memories, everything, a traitor hiding among them. But what it really struck to me was Monica said, You guys don't know anything about each other, you know? That's why we try to get free time and talk to one another, but Makan, something happened to her that she can't get close to people and afraid to talk. And then there's Byakua, who has a complete 180 personality Ahem. change. Hope speak it is now. Right, Please this is the night time. Okay, thank you. Okay, it's night time. Hey. Hey, what should we do? <laughs> it's better if we call it a night here. We should get some sleep and try to get our minds calm. Oh. Oh. I guess you're right. This is your leader's order. Just so you know, do not think of, about unnecessary things. This is your leader's order. Tomorrow morning, let's meet at the restaurant and after Monica Moon's morning announcement. Um, how troubling. I think the saying goes, I'm frightened, so stiff. What? Huh? I feel pretty stiff right now, too. Get out of here. Uh. That's not how that saying goes. But if it, if it's not her fault, she's a foreigner after all. <sighs> to be honest, I don't really remember what happened after that. But later I realized something. What you realize? I was sitting in my bed inside the cottage with my head drooping, drooping down on my chest. As I sat there alone, a strange thought suddenly crossed my mind. A traitor. Could it be someone who isn't like the others? Like someone who doesn't even remember what talent is? What the hell? I don't understand at all. Oh wait, he's just thinking it's him? He's a traitor? I put these stupid thoughts out of my head and collapsed to my bed. Immediately, I closed my eyes. Closed my eyes was the only thing I could escape from the world, 
otherworldly reality. Come on, someone, someone needs to be killing soon. Cause this game, this game has its ways of like slowly leading up to Ahem. it. It's like Hope almost. Speak Academy School. Good morning. Now then. Thank you, Monica, for your morning announcement. As I was saying, it has that tendency to like do like introduction to tone setting to talking to people, getting to know them, motive. And then, bam, murder. And that's where everything starts. So I'm hoping the next episode, the motive will take an effect and we will have to try to figure out who killed who and who the victim would be. So if you like this episode, I'm going to leave it off here. Leave it a thumbs up. Let's me and YouTube know y'all enjoy the content. And thank you so much for sticking around me for this series. I know it's always slow in the beginning, but I'm thinking it's really going to heat up in the next episode. So make sure you push that bell that you notify every time when I upload and subscribe to join the wolf pack. Always have to have new wolves. And without further ado, I'll see you next time guys. Bye.